Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John in Maxville, Kansas on cable channel 3. And we're having a good day today. Uh, it's the 4th of November and uh, Friday it's 47 at noontime. Today will be sunny and uh, 59. Uh, Saturday will be partly cloudy and windy 64. Sunday will be sunny and 64 again. Monday and Tuesday will have showers and Tuesday will have wind with the showers. The high temperature of Monday 63, the high on uh, Tuesday 46. And there's a 40% chance of rain Monday and a 50% chance Tuesday. Then we get back to a simple kind of a day on Wednesday, sunny and 51. Happy birthday today to Danita Hedrick. Tomorrow, Mark McKinless, and on Sunday to Rex Hoskinson. We hope that you all enjoy your birthdays. Now we have just a little bit of menus. The uh, sunflowers are having uh, salmon uh, and potatoes today, and we don't have their next months yet. And uh, the VIP Center in uh, Maxville is uh, having uh, lasagna today and uh, Swedish meatballs on uh, on Monday and roast beef on uh, Tuesday and at this time we're going to switch over and go to the to the for the school news <laughs> I'm Kinder Hacker, and this is the Tiger News. Tomorrow is the Act registration deadline for the 12, 10, 11 test, and is also the KMEA Junior High District at Dodge City. So sing well, play well, Junior High. Monday there is no school, but there will be a pre-dress rehearsal for the musical, which is Cinderella. It is also Buffer Week next week. Tuesday, the juniors will be taking the ASVAB test. It is also the Kayette Mother-Daughter Banquet. And this Thursday is the Junior High Basketball Game at Bison. Friday is the All School Musical at 7.30. Saturday is the All School Musical at 7.30. And Sunday is the All School Musical at 2. And Monday, sports practices begin. And now we'll go to sports with Brandon. Last week, the girls won state up in Hayes, and there's no sports going on next week. Buffer. Yeah, it's buffer week. All right, go teams. And now we'll also go back to Brandon for the lunch criticism of the week. So Monday we have no school. Tuesday we have the chicken noodle. Wednesday is chicken fajita. Thursday is hamburger, and Friday is cheese pizza. So, what's the overview of all of that? It's a good week. It's a good week. Good week. So that's all we have for news today. I will see you next. I'll see you next week. See ya. and support staff, so yeah, it's a busy job, but I think it's going very well. And you're enjoying it? Most of the time, yeah, <laughs> most of the time I am enjoying it. Um, and uh, again, some days, um, you know, come in and before
before you know it, it's lunch, and you think, where did the morning go? And then before you know it, it's, you know, school's out. Um, it, it is um, an interesting job, and there are new things that come up all the time, but yeah, I think it's going very well. Um, and I'm learning to keep a lot of balls in the air at once. So. <laughs> yes. So there's a lot of events going on. Mm -hmm. Right this week is um, Fire Safety Prevention Week. Yes. What are the students doing for that? Um, different classes have different types of events scheduled with the fire department here. Um, the younger children, of course, get to ride <clears throat> in either a fire truck or I saw some of them got to ride in the ambulance and then see the fire um, firemen and women actually suit up um, and put on the masks and everything in the event that one, you know, there'd be a house fire. The children <coughs> would know what a fireman looked like in his in his full suit so they wouldn't be afraid um, if someone was there to actually help them get out of the house. Some of the older children um, are getting to watch a video about fire safety and um, after talking with Chief Sanders I understand that some of the older children are get to, gonna get to be in a simulation where they fill a room with you know, a type of smoke, mm -hmm. and then they can crawl on the floor to see that the smoke rises and it's clear underneath. Um, and uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping to get to go see that. It sounded yeah. really neat. That, so, that sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. So the the age group of the of the children, you know, is what determines the kind of activities that they're going to do with the fire department today. So, and I'm really appreciative that that the fire department is willing to come out and spend so much time with us. It's neat. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. sounds exciting. Yeah. So, what are some other school events that are going on? Um, next week, we have um, Kansas Learning Center for Health coming, and they're going to be doing informational things with the elementary students. So, um, and again, based on grade level, you know, the Kansas Learning Center for Health has some different activities. Um, we have parent teacher conferences coming up, and that's a big deal for all the grown ups around here for sure. Um, we also have the elementary music program on Tuesday, the 26th. October Days, I believe, is the theme for that program. Um, so we're looking forward to that. Um, and then we also have um, Body Venture coming. And some of you, I think you guys maybe have been through Body Venture mm -hmm. when you were kids. So Body Venture mm -hmm. is coming. Um, that's what's on the 26th. The music program's on the 25th. So, mm -hmm. um, and the kids will get to go through Body Venture with a lot of volunteer help. Our nurse, Lisa Cornell, has been coordinating the Body mm -hmm. Venture um, event. So we have those things coming up in the near future here in October. October has been really we yes. a lot going on. So, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of fun things to get in elementary. And field trips. My first graders are gone today to the mm -hmm. Pumpkin Patch in Turon. So, yes. yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. So, I've got one last question. Oh, sure. What are your goals for the school year as a principal? <clears throat> That's a good question. Um, <laughs> there are some policies that I would like to see updated. Um, one of the policies I'd like to see updated with Fidelity is our bullying policy that we have here in the elementary. Um, and I've been working on that with our counselor, Kim Volker, and with our superintendent, Dr. Kim Worthy. Um, another thing I would like to do is update our student handbook. Um, we have a very good handbook. It needs to be updated with input from the teachers and staff here at school. So um, I'd like to get those changes to the Board of Education by the end of this year so they can be approved and in place by next year. Um, I am learning a lot and Mr. Bergen is helping me, um, but I'm hoping that I can um, take care of the test coordination and some of the data entry and paperwork that goes on at this level to make sure everyone's taking the correct state assessment and how we're using that information to help guide our teaching here and make sure all of our children are getting the, the individualized education that they need as best we can. Um, so those are some of the kind of the bigger big picture things that I'm working on this year. So anyway, 
Well, thank you for your yeah, time. Thank you. Welcome to being the principal at the elementary oh, school. Thank you. I so, that. I'm Kinder Hacker, and this is Tiger News. Go Tigers! We're back from the school news, and we just have a few more things. Uh, the big item this weekend is the Victorian Tree Tea on uh, November 6th, which is Sunday. Uh, they have two settings at 1.30 and 3.30. And even though you should have got a ticket by now, if you go and check with them, sometimes they have uh, extra ones, sometimes somebody has uh, turned one in. And so uh, the Victorian tea is always a really interesting thing. And a lot of people from town just like to watch everybody show up in their Victorian outfits. So it's an interesting thing, and we hope they do well. Then uh, we have the Wet Center uh, Skating Rink is having a uh, November party, Thanksgiving uh, emphasized crafts. And they're having snacks. There's a fee of a dollar, and that'll be on Thursday, November 17th, 3.30 to 4.30. And then the, uh, the second mile... Uh, from the Methodist Church is having a potato drop. And so Cherry Lane Apartments, Saturday, November 19, between 1 and 2, and have a container with five pounds of potatoes, and you go by and they'll drop the potatoes into it. They're going to have 200 pounds of potatoes, so it'll be first some come, first serve, uh, between 1 and 2 o'clock. <clears throat> And that's all the news and announcements I have for you at this time. The word of the day is this. Our character is not made in a crisis. Rather, it's exhibited in a crisis. This is Jim Lakey, hoping we don't have too many of those today.